Alright, peace, love, and light, family. I'm back at you with another video. Hope y'all been vibrating high. Hope y'all been taking care of yourselves. I'm back at you with another video. And uh, I got a little message for y'all tonight. Feel me? Or this afternoon, rather. Um, got a couple messages I want to hit y'all with. Feel me? And um, this is going to be really like a part two from my last video, you know, to kind of clarify some things and also to bring some new things to the forefront also. But uh, before we get into that, you know, my intro I always, I got to send y'all a little positive message or whatever, whatever, you feel me? Y'all should know the program by now, but I just want to show y'all like this book, like, listen, Let's see if it's going to focus, like, listen, this is my little journal. You feel me? And these is all ideas and basically channeled messages. You feel me? That you know what I'm saying? Just be popping up in my head, like, like this shit could keep going, like, keep going, keep going, like, and they all, and they all like, they all mostly feel too. All the pages mostly filled, and I got another booklet in the closet too. Um, from when I first first started, and I'm showing y'all that to basically tell you like, start writing down your ideas, start writing down and paying attention to uh, the certain thoughts that 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 pop in your consciousness. Um, and I'm saying that because we understand that we are at war right now, right? But this war that we are in is more of a frequency battle. It's more of a of a of a mental thing, you know. And it's going to soon manifest into the physical. But right now, it's a lot of mind games being being played on the people. You know, they want to try to trick us out of out of out of corrupting our soul you feel me because they have fell in frequency so pay attention to your thoughts be aware of how you feel because how you feel is basically your vibration so if you don't feel so good that means you're vibrating low you know what i'm saying you're not confident you know what i'm saying you always get sick you know what I'm saying? You 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 lack self confidence and you know self esteem and things of that nature. You know all those low vibrational things. You feel me? You're vibrating low, and you know of course it's the opposite when you're vibrating higher. You know what I'm saying? You feel good about yourself. You're more self aware. You're more self confident. You know what I'm saying? You want not only love for yourself but love for others you want to see everybody win you're not hating on nobody dragging nobody down you know that's that's a low level of high vibrational energy you know what i'm saying so focus on that but start writing down ideas start writing down certain thoughts that come to your head you know what i'm saying and basically strategize and map out your life you know what i'm saying pay attention though because you are not your thoughts and i say that meaning we are spiritual beings and we are not this this flesh this meat suit so there's all types of higher aspects trying to connect with us down here you know what i'm saying that's why we always getting the ringing in our ears we always seeing uh seeing angel numbers and and you know synchronicities and things of that nature you feel me because that's that's higher aspects connecting with us and sending us messages you feel me so there's the opposite of that also so how you can tell which side is sending you your thoughts at that time just pay attention to the to the way that you feel are these high vibrational good thoughts or are they low vibrational thoughts you know what i'm saying that's why you have to be more self-aware and 
make sure you're clearing out all the junk. Anything that's not promoting you or uplifting you and everything around you, get it out your head because you are not your thoughts. But at the same time, because we have magnetism within our soul, meaning our soul attracts whatever frequency that we own. So you have to make sure that you tuning in to your higher self and tuning in to those good thoughts and clearing out all the junk. So, you know, I hope that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And it's a process. You feel me? It's a process. Connecting with your higher self is a process. So trust the process and just put in the necessary work and understand that we are all on our own individual journey. So don't compare yourself to nobody else. Nobody is you, family. Nobody else is you. So take the time that you need to get right. You feel me? Don't compare yourself and try to, you know, speed everything up in one day. Like, listen, this is a lifelong journey that we own, family. But the only failure is not trying. So let's work on that. And next clip, I'm going to get into what I want to talk about. Peace, love, and light. Uh, one cent Wendy's hamburgers that they're getting ready to sell. Everyone's talking about it's some kind of test or experiment on people. I don't know. You all know that I'm, I'm open to, to wild ideas. But I figured I'd get a little ahead of this one. People don't tend to believe things unless it's been on The Simpsons. Well, here's this. I'm here at Krusty Burger for the launch of the highly anticipated Burger Squared. Krusty, what can you tell us about this fantastic new sandwich? I'm glad you asked, Kent. We start with grade A beef, feed that to other cows, then kill them and serve the unholy results on a seven-grain bun. Burger Squared! The man checks out. Cows eating cows? That's an abomination. Now, Lisa, you're a vegetarian, but these cows have made a different choice. And now this lucky reporter will be the first human to sample this delicious crime against nature. Mmm, juicy, flavorful, with just a hint of... Hey, that's my check cashing arm, you stupid... <laughs> All right, peace, family. So look, the first thing I want to talk to y'all about, this video probably won't be too long. I just want to highlight y'all about a couple little things. So tomorrow, September 18th through the 22nd, multiple fast food restaurants will be giving out food for a very low price, damn near like they're giving it away for free. And... You know, all my people that's <clears throat> working on themselves, you clearing out all the junk, you know, you trying to eat right, you trying to keep your vibration high, you feel me, you doing the best you can do. Um, because we understand that there's, I've put out many different, uh, many different videos explaining how the food we're eating is fake. Uh, other guys and goddesses, other high vibrational human beings have put out many different uh, a lot of content explaining just that so I don't think it's no secret it's not conspiracy like all this stuff we're eating is artificial it's fake, it's genetically modified it's being grown in labs nothing is being grown from the earth okay? because they are trying to pollute our planet they're polluting our planet so anybody that's on the fence about that do not take your ass to these restaurants and go get that food, bro. Because understand that they are doing everything for a reason right now, family. Everything. And when they giving away and doing certain stuff like that, and you got a bunch of, it's not just Wendy's, they giving away burgers for a penny, bro. Fast food is already horrible for the body. It has no nutritional value at all. So the fact that they giving this mess away for so dirt cheap, 
bro, don't don't trust that shit. I can't tell you exactly. I can't I can't tell you exactly why they're doing it. But uh it's funny how I told you like sometimes you feel me I'll be watching certain videos and I seen it was a a Simpsons clip basically where uh, a bunch of uh, I think it was the crusty burger or something was giving away burgers for like dirt cheap real cheap and everybody lined up to go get this food and when they ate it they turned into zombies bro and I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a show y'all that clip so again the Simpsons are not predicting the future bro they're telling you the script they're telling you what's going to happen they're not predicting anything they're telling you i told you everybody that's in cahoots everybody that has a tv show anybody that's somebody that would be considered a celebrity has great wealth all these people are in cahoots all these people have sold out them everybody so these people are not predicting the future they're telling you what's going on they're telling you what's going to happen so i'm not gonna speak too heavy on it y'all believe whatever you want to believe you take your ass down there and eat that shit if you want i'm gonna throw that clip in so y'all can see it and again family just use use your common sense man And y'all do whatever y'all want to do. I'm going to leave it up to y'all. I ain't even going to speak too heavy on that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do whatever y'all want to do. But I'm going to throw that clip in and let you watch it. So, you feel me? Y'all do what y'all want to do. A line that she was like, bro, did you do some, like, some spell work or some shit on me? Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Did, did you, did you conjure? Hey, I don't do that little goofy shit. She like, hold on. It's like the, the day you left, it was like storms and hurricanes. And t- yeah, when I leave the protection leave, listen, I know y'all hear people say this shit. Y'all need to really understand. A lot of times things don't happen to you when you have a chosen being in your life. Yeah, they protecting you. They taking so much of your fucking karma away from you. But the second that being say, fuck it. The second that being say, you know what? Hey, it is what it is, and it isn't what it isn't. You're going to regret it. Like, every ex I've ever been, like, all my exes, no cap. I guarantee, man, big energy. All right, peace. So, look, the next thing I wanted to say is this is basically like an update from me talking about that big storm that's supposed to be hitting the East Coast. Now, I've been following up on everything and paying attention to the other content. You know, like I've looked at it myself and I'm paying attention to other people who's following up on it. And um, there are for sure multiple, I think it's like three or four, I think it's like four tropical storms that's all in the same area. But basically i guess what they saying now is some of them are redirecting they they you know they they going in another direction now or they could be possibly turning and going somewhere else so maybe as big of a storm may not happen and 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 you know that's good you feel me that's good but i just need my people to stay up on game and just understand that you know I do my own research and homework about stuff, you feel me? So I'm not just sitting here and coming out here talking about stuff that I'm watching other people do content about. But I am on the East Coast. So, you feel me? I was definitely paying attention to it and seeing what was going on. And I know there's a lot of people that's tuned in here that's also on the East Coast. So that's the only reason I spoke about it. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't say anything was a definite. You know what I'm saying? I I told y'all to do y'all own research on it. And I told you that it was a possibility. You know what I'm saying? But things do change. You know what I'm saying? And but but at the same time, that don't mean like a court like again, we still in this so-called hurricane season. So you feel me? We gonna be getting hit with storms all all every which way, you feel me? 
these people is conjuring up this shit and just sending them out there. You know what I'm saying? And it's a bunch of weird shit going on with these storms that's going on too. I'm going to show y'all some more footage about that. And again, there's no secret that these people are, are, are obviously making these, these, these big storms, these, these so-called natural disasters, like these wildfires and shit like that, bro. It's, it's plenty of instances of, of these people clearly being the problem and doing them, doing this shit themselves. Like nothing is conspiracy anymore, family. And it may it may sound it may it may sound off off track and off topic, but I need my people to get more self aware and be able to channel these frequencies that's around us. And I encourage like when I tell all my people that we need to get back in tune with our locks with our ether you feel me but specifically locks though matter matter ether because this contains information these are these are cosmic antennas you know what I'm saying so they hold a lot of memory you know they hold they possess a lot of power like that story of medusa medusa was not some type of mythical uh creature with with snakes out of growing out of her hair or her head medusa was was based off of i and i i don't think that was her name so i might have to i'm gonna do some research and try to see if i can find her name specifically but who Medusa was based off of was a was a goddess who had long locks. And I told you these are cosmic antennas. Like our locks literally have power. So how they said Medusa hair was flowing like snakes, that's because this this goddess was basically in tune with her god abilities and was able to use her locks basically like weapons you know what i'm saying basically like weapons you know what i'm saying like could make them do whatever she wanted them to do you know what i'm saying so that's that's you know that's why they 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 twisted and turned everything family but basically what i'm trying to say is our our hair our ether it, it, it picks up energy. It helps us read the energy that's around us. That's why our hair stands up. You know what I'm saying? When certain things are going on. Because it's reading the energy that's around us. And, and giving us, feeding us signals. So we need to get back in tune with our natural ethos. But more specifically, we need to get back to our locks, man. You feel me? Because they fear us when they when 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 we got these locks, bro. And that's why they call them dreadlocks. But there is nothing dreadful about your locks. You know what I'm saying? I've said this in my earlier videos, but we need to get back in tune with that family because we need to be able to channel these frequencies. You know what I'm saying? And when we do shift, you feel me? We need to have all our power. And that includes ether. That includes our locks. All right, peace. So look, I told you this video probably won't be too long. Um, I just wanted to come on and just holler at y'all about a couple little things, but more specifically, um. I'm going to be showing videos and screen recordings of certain things so you can gain an understanding about the things that I've been talking about and everything that's going on around us. You know, let y'all get a different perspective to let y'all again, to let y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm not just anybody who's not tapped in. I'm not just some crazy man speaking. 
and there's many many different instances of other people putting out content about the same things that I talk about on here so we all can't be crazy at the same time at some point in time people gonna have to really understand that everything has not been exposed to us everything was not the truth was not never told to us and that there's higher knowledge and 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 greater understandings than just that bible that they gave us you feel me so you know work on that and and that's why i'm here and that's why other guys and goddesses and high vibrational human beings are here to to help us rise bro so tune in to the message but before i wrap this up and uh show everything else that i got to show with the video i want to tell y'all every day you wake up man be thankful and be grateful for everything that you have say a prayer to yourself um Say a prayer to yourself, you know, and, you know, I don't know who everybody prays to that's, that's tuning in, but um, me, I pray to myself because I understand, I've said this many different times, source, which is the divine feminine energy first and the divine masculine energy second. Source is the reason for everything, okay? And... She lives within all her children, all her creations, and we are all her creations. And our ancestors that she also created, they also lived through us also. The physical ones who were actually down here and transcended, and ones who's, you know, just been chilling in higher aspects, I mean, in higher realms. Spirit lives within us also. That's why they always sending sending messages and, and, you know, different angel numbers to us. You feel me? Everything we need is within us, family. Everything. So when you pray, you pray to yourself. You don't pray to nobody outside of yourself because everything you need is you. You are everything. And everything is a part of you. So you pray to yourself and, you know, just just speak highly of yourself. Be grateful for everything that's around you. Say affirmations. You know what I'm saying? Put positive energy in the air. You know, we need to work on that and make it a routine. You feel me? Because I'm telling you, the the, the times that we're going in, man, it's about to be harsh. They're going to, they gonna, I'm telling you, they're going to, they going to, do a lot of BS to try to stop us from rising and they gonna try to take as many vessels as they can family because they understand that we are soldiers we are rising ascending masters we are spiritual assassins who elected to come back down here to take our planet back they know what time it is I'm gonna keep saying this shit cuz y'all think it's a game so take the time to start your day off every day i don't give a damn what's going on in your life this is how you shape your per, your perspective on things regardless of what's around you you can always be at peace with self by doing certain things like starting your day off by speaking positive to yourself saying a prayer speaking highly uh, of everything around you even if it's not that much and understand that that as long as you connect and align yourself with your higher self, that listen, you are forever royal. These are materialistic things. Don't get caught up into that. But you can manifest that too. You just got to tap in. You just got to tap in. Our ancestors, source, spirit wants nothing more but the best for us. The universe wants nothing more but the best for us. We go through trial and tribulation to help us rise. And these niggas want to try to stop that, man. So they going to force us in the harsh conditions and it's going to get real. Crime and everything like that is is going to rise, family. But I'm telling you right now, when you when you learn how to shape your reality around yourself, when you learn how to keep a higher perspective of things, it don't matter what the hell going on outside when you can find peace within. You feel me? 
So work on that because we gonna need it. I'm telling you, we gonna need it. So peace, love, and light. I'ma throw these little other clips in, man, so y'all can get an understanding. And um, yeah, I'ma keep coming with with the high vibrational messages. And you know, I got some some great things in the work. You know, I'm partner up, I'm partnering up with 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 some people. We collabing and and. and you know, I, I I feel like I got a good team right now. You know what I'm saying? I done joined forces with 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 higher with other guys and goddesses, you feel me? So, you know, it's it's great things that's on the way, family. I ain't gonna say too much about it. I'ma just let y'all see for yourself. You know, I ain't gonna say nothing about it. I'ma just let you see it. So, peace, love, and light. And I'm gonna be back at you with another message, man. Peace in the studio right now and i just feel so humbled and just super super blessed to be able to be doing anything you know and doing something like this um yeah it's like you just you don't you you don't take it lightly yeah do you have a clone yet daniel because i now have a clone and that clone does all of my music and then i you know have another clone for acting i'm not gonna tell you if it's me or not <laughs> my name is they're um, making music right now right yeah they're yeah. making in the studio right now yeah. and i just feel so humble <laughs> So a week or two ago, I posted a video with this picture. Um, these trailers just showed up in our town. Three, three of them showed up in our town at our fairgrounds. Um, they're just sitting there. I made a post on Facebook. I did not say the three-letter agency's name, but I just said, um, these trailers showed up in town. If I were you, I would not trust them. And within... 30 minutes they had already been taken down. So we live out in the middle of nowhere. Like, it's a 15 minute drive into town. We have maybe one neighbor, but they're like five minutes away. Our driveway is a mile long. We literally live in the middle of nowhere. Um, and just yesterday, someone came to our house and was talking to my boyfriend and said that they would offer us $150 per adult and $60 per child to um, go to these trailers and let them run tests on us for a few hours because they knew that we were not vaccinated and they asked what our stance on guns were. Like, they knew that we lived out in the middle of nowhere and that we were not vaccinated. Um, scary. That's scary. Like, people get lost trying to find my house. They have their GPS up and they still get lost finding my house, so... Man, this is so stressful. Because they're literally putting it in our face. So you're telling me we're still denying the existence of melanated Afro people in America, pre-Columbus? I hope y'all know what's going on in the Grand Canyon. We have sphinx statues in the Grand Canyon. Hieroglyphics. Oh, you see that other statue? There is an Egyptian temple named after an Egyptian goddess in the Grand Canyon. I'm pretty sure everybody has seen the Great Seal of California. You see that Amazon warrior who is depicted as... White. Well, the original seal of 1510 was an actual melanated Afro woman. And her name was Queen Calafia, hence California. There have been depictions of her in caves, but you know they want to watch everything. I'm going to let the goddess explain. Calafia was described as a black warrior queen who ruled the mythical island of California. The island was inhibited only by black women who lived like Amazon warriors. Um, what? California could have possibly been ruled by black women? Y'all know Las Vegas, right? That's right next to California and Arizona, where the Grand Canyon is. We talked about these Egyptian artifacts, crypts, all of that found in the Grand Canyon. Remember how I said they put it in our face without actually telling us? There's a spot in Vegas called Luxor with a pyramid, a sphinx, and Egyptian statues. They also have a museum that shows mock artifacts of Egyptians. I mean, come on. 
I'm going to just show you an up close and personal picture. We also got skulls that resemble Afro people found in pre-Columbus layers. Oh, yeah, I came across this. It said, why are you not allowed? Y'all let me know what y'all think. I was like, listen, the closeout game is the hardest game in your life. And they be like, why? And I can't say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't say. I can't like, say, but I'm like, no, fam. Listen, like, this is the hardest game you'll ever play in your life. And E.B. told you. Yeah, it's... it's, it's... Shit, nah, I'll tell it. Like, <laughs> go ahead. You got to be the, the vehicle. The vehicle. You got to right. be the vehicle. No, it's real, though. No, no, I remember we were about to play Game 7, uh, 2012. So we were about to play the Celtics or whatever. Game 7. So I'm hyped as hell. I'm like, yeah, bro, we got a Game 7. Like, we're out the bam. Like, this is going to be lit. So Elton's like, you know we're going to have to win by 15 just to win by 1. Mm. So I'm like, what you mean? He's like, bro, this is the NBA. It's entertainment. Like, LeBron is in a heat or waiting. Would you rather watch the Celtics or the Sixers play the heat? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm on a team. I wouldn't even watch <laughs> the Sixers play the heat. Type shit. Like, you got to appreciate it. But mind you, I'm young, 22, 23. I'm like, damn, damn. You know what I mean? So it's like, so we get in this game, you know how much money the NBA is going to lose. Like this, you know, type shit. I'm like, I guess, like a decent amount. It's like, would you watch that game next week if it was a heat versus... Sixers, I'm like, nah. It's like, okay then. So, like, that's why I'm, I'm telling you, take M's and M's from the.